Welcome. This is the Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 1, test number 3, question number 21. The question says the age and years of employees working in a company are given below. If the eldest employee resigns, how will this affect the median age of the employees of the company? Hopefully he's made his way to, he or she has made their way to early retirement instead of resigning because that's going to be tough on the insurance benefits or the, you know, unemployment benefits. Anywho, what we need to do is figure out the median age with the person who's 55 in and then figure it out without. So we're just going to do two sets. And there's a couple different ways that you can do it. We'll do it by hand first and then we'll look at the idea of can you do it as a list. And absolutely you can do it as a list. So 24, 23, I missed one. Um, the next one's going to be 28, 29, 33, 35, 45, and 47, 51, and 55. Uh, what you could do is just make sure that you have um, right now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 exist here. What I tend to do is I mark one off from each end and I change the angle of my little slash to make sure I don't do a double. So what I'm left with in the original case is a median that is between 33 and 35, so I could average those two, and it ends up being a median value of 34. In my second set, I'm going to do the same basic idea. The only difference is I'm not going to include the uh, 55 in there. So now I have a set with nine employees in it because somebody resigned. So. Mark these, mark these, mark these, mark these. So my new median is 33. So the question says, uh, the question wants me to address what happens from one to the other. It's kind of easy sometimes to think about it in the wrong direction, but you started at 34 and now it's down to 31, so the median age decreases by one year. And that's all you have to do as far as that's when that one is concerned. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, on the other side of it, you do want to pay attention to um, which way you're moving because sometimes they'd say it increases by a year is one of the answer choices. Just trying to sort of trap you into picking the wrong thing. Can you do these as a list in your calculator? Absolutely. If you wanted to go in and bother with it, you would go into the list. It helps if you turn it on. You would go into the list and edit a list, and then you could do, um, sorry, once you have your list, then you would hit second list, and then you'd want to go over to math and find the median. Uh, I would put all of my original set in um, L1, so if I were to make a list here, I'm not going to. If I were to edit a list, I would put all of my, oops, lost it. Um, I would put all of my values for my original set in L1 and then I would just go ahead and put all the new values or everything minus the 55 in L2 that way I could just have median for the first one and median for the second one on top of each other it's much easier to see to make a comparison but in this case doing it by hand made a lot of sense so you know choose your own adventure